favorite viewers, welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. Got a 2003 non Hemi Dodge Dakota. It's got the big 3.9 in it and needs a power steering pump. Now, this was in a previous video that we did rear wheel studs and parking brake shoes, so make sure you check that one out. Need to finish it up. Got the tires all mounted up and on it. Gonna do the power steering pump. I thought I'd bring it along. So, service data tells you to remove the belt, obviously, and then uh, take the hoses and stuff off and then pull the whole front bracket off and then take the pump out that way. I'm just curious if we can just pull this fan shroud, leave the bracket, and just pull the pump off. You know, do the pulley swap and everything while it sits in there. Uh, this fan shroud appears to be two-piece, like this upper half will come off, I think. That's what we're going to find out. Uh, it may be a waste of time, but in either case, We'll learn something. Well, look at that. So she is two piece, it come right out of there. Um, and then now we have lots of room, so fantastic. So if we do have to pull the bracket, we can get to these bolts easier. I'll bring you around here where you can see. And uh, I think we'll be in good shape for the shape right here, folks. All right, take the belt off. So we're gonna relieve the tension here on the tensioner. You're so tense. And then we'll take that off, being mindful of the direction that it goes. So you can either mark it, or if you find the letters on it where it's got writing on it, see which way they're going. You know, this one we can read without, you know, being backwards or on our head. So we know which way it goes back on. Some people say it doesn't matter. I've I'm still up in the air. I noticed that if I put them back on in the direction I took them off, they typically don't have a squeak or any issues. So we're going to get it right out of the way, possibly. Oh, and if you don't know how it goes back on, draw a little picture before you take it apart. Um, <laughs> too late now, fella. Oh, we can look up on service date anyways. And typically they only fit like 15 different ways, so eventually you'll get it. So what I'd like to do now is see if we can't get the power steering pulley off right here. See if we can find the right uh, little adapter here. Let's flip it around. So the uh, puller here has two sides to it. Got that opening on that side, which I've ground down. And we got this opening, which is slightly larger. Stick the and call with the camera in the way. <laughs> I won't lie. So if I look off fumbly, it's because typically I try to set you guys up where you can see, and puts me in an awkward position. You're making it awkward, people. So stick that little guy in there. You'll see it once it's all together here. Oh man, we're gonna have to do we have hand tools on this one, it looks like. And then we just do this all the way to the end. like that. Well, this part's a little tricky. We gotta try to loosen up the power steering line here. I think it's 18 from the looks of it. Let's see if we can't get it cracked. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm all saying, oh, this is tricky. You're gonna be fighting this one. She cracks right loose. Oh, actually it's quite loose. Uh, before I yanked it out, let me go get a bucket. Alright, bucket's in place. Cause it's probably got pee pee a little here. There should be an o-ring on that fitting too. 
Um, so it probably comes with a new one. No, it's still stuck to it. But just uh, in case it doesn't come with a new one, make sure you don't lose that. It's, uh, I think they call it a bell flare. And then we need to get this line undone here. We get a pair of pliers. Popped right off, look at that. Today's your lucky day, fella. So I've got both these kind of just pee peeing down in a bucket. Uh, I don't think there's any bracket on the back of these, like on the Chevrolets. Uh, she just bolted on on the front. We should be able to unbolt it and hopefully have enough room so it doesn't hit the exhaust manifold here. Because I don't want to pull the bracket because I don't want to take the water pipe out of the water pump. Best angle I can give you there, folks. Uh, we're going to come in, and with the pulley off, there's four bolts that hold this whole mess together. Let's see if we can just zippy zap them out. We'll get the bottom ones first. We need to just had to talk to a customer. So now I'm missing my gloves. I'm mean, not missing them, like, you know, like, oh my gosh, I really miss those. Like, that's just, that's why they're off from one scene to the next. Because you guys think it's all just fluid and everything goes together. What well, project? This, this could be on three days, you won't even know the difference. You probably would. Ah, there we go. I guess all I'm saying is I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. All I'm saying is I hope this comes out, which it should. Oh, you frick hole. <laughs> I just want to. I want to stick my little finger up at it. Oh, you sucker. Well, I tell you what, um, not a big deal. Not a big deal, everybody just calm down. We need to loosen up the bracket here. So like I say, I don't want to pull this water pipe out. Uh, we're gonna have to wrench the one bolt. The problem is they got it all siliconed up. So you know darn tootin' well that they're having a problem with that pipe sealing. And I don't want to be the last guy to touch it. I guess I should have looked behind the bracket that holds the upper radiator hose on because it looks like it's a stud, but it's a double. It's a double stud. It's a double-headed stutter. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like that this is the only nut, and it's not. You'll see in a minute. Of course, you can't see crap where you're at, but I'll show you. So there's, you know, one of the nuts. There's both of these nuts. Those are both of the ones that held on the bracket and the ground wire. So we're going to unhook the ground wire. We're going to unhook this bracket, which they have zip tied here, which I don't know why, because it doesn't appear to be broken. So we're going to take, we're going to remove the double zip tie. Classic move right there with zip tie action. Gonna have to get this bracket up and out of the way. So there's the bracket that we just took off. And the reason this bracket's not loose is because there's more bolts. So I didn't look back there. So this is completely, all of this is entirely my fault. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Everything, everything in life. Still though, with the water tube in the way, at this point, I might better just drain the antifreeze out of it, or at least let it spill onto the floor, one or the other. Ah, mother lover. That's enough hand tooling. Let's see if we can get on the bottom one here. We'll just take that one all the way out. Gosh dang it. Back in the beginning, I thought them was with studs. No, sir. No, sir. I better just freaking take it off at this point, huh? Am I right, my guy? Now we're talking. Uh. Everything's falling down. What a sleep. <laughs> well, that's your first day in the job. There, we came. We, we got what we came to get. Uh, all right. 
made kind of a big deal out of nothing. Like I say, when I initially looked at it, I thought they were studs, so I was just trying to avoid a whole rigmarole here, especially, especially when you're dealing with something old uh, like this thing. The old Dakota, anything old, 03. Uh, it definitely is not from New York, I think, as we discovered doing the parking brake stuff. Yeah, it's crusty, but it's not 2003 crusty. Important, power steering system should be flushed. All right. Well, we didn't have any catastrophic failures. So I'm not super concerned with that. Uh, we're just changing it because of she was pant. I cleaned up the bracket and the parts washer to get all the schmoo off it. And wash my patties. Warrant, don't void your warranty, always flush. Well, that's how you get out of a warranty every time. Why? Because ain't nobody flushing it. Uh, don't get me wrong. If we had catastrophic failure and it shot the system right full of metal, absolutely, we'd flush it then. You got one short bolt. Stick that in a short hole. That's this one right here. And we've got the longer ones that go into deeper holes. All right, that makes sense to you. We'll take and tighten her up. Well, yeah, I guess as I was saying, I'm not going to flush it. We didn't have catastrophic failure. It's not like the system, you know, full of metal or anything. My opinion. I get a torque spec for these. That's all torqued on to factory specs. We will get a pulley installer. So we're going to thread down in the middle of that pump there. We're going to need that little guy. We're going to need that. We need to pop the middle out of him. Oh, we need to take this off there. Probably have to lube this screw too. It's been a while. It's just feeling a little dry. Totally did not just lube the screw. <laughs> and that started like that. And we'll hold that one and tighten that one and run her down until she's flush. Not if we have any wrenches out here, they're gonna fit this. We'll find some. Probably a little snug now. Hey, one size fits all. Oh, gotta get a socket. Oh, it wasn't even that tight. She's flush right there. We'll take care of our pulley installer here. Almost dropped it again. did come with some new o-rings let's see here something something uh, showing the pressure relief that's already in we don't need that we just need the one small o-ring let me uh, let me look at the back of our pump make sure it's the same I don't remember these studs hanging off I don't know if they interfere with anything if they don't we're just gonna leave them uh, let me have a peek so the OEM pump does use flush mounted bolts just want to see if this looks like the same thread here and it is so we don't have to worry about uh, 
pulling that baby out. I'm going to leave the studs on it. I don't think they're going to interfere with anything back there as long as there's no wiring harness or none of that business. We'll just leave them. Uh, must be for a different application, maybe on GM or something. I'm just going to leave the plug in top of it until we get it in. Should be able to fish it right down through here. I just want to hold it up there, make sure those studs aren't going to be a problem. And it does not appear one is down quite low. Nothing around the other one, so we should be in good shape. Uh, this has proved to be more difficult to record than I anticipated because I can't get you guys in a good angle. Uh, seems kind of be no matter where I put you, you can't see. Either you can't see or I can't see. <laughs> so we're going to stick this bracket on. Obviously I've gone through and torqued the other bolts to factory spec. So now we'll get both of these nuts put back on. Do not forget to hook up that ground wire. That would be a surprise. Surprise! You just grounded it through everything else. <laughs> Speaking of that, we got one coming in tomorrow. A newer Dodge. Young Buck. Said if I can do it, you can do it and all that. And he went and put a new battery in his Demi Dodge Ram and he hooked it up. <gasps> well, guess what? They gave him the wrong battery. It was a reverse terminal. He said a lot of smoke was coming out of a lot of things. Wants us to have a look to see if we just need to, to reset some stuff. And I laughed and laughed. I said, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that ain't going to be cheap, fella. That bunch of smoke was coming out of the fuse box and apparently now it still starts and miraculously it still starts and runs don't know how because he's I, apparently he's got no dash no power steering lots of stuff that doesn't work but it still starts and runs miracle well i'm going to take and finish wrenching these ones on folks not going to bore you with that so you got to put the new o-ring on the end of your line which i already did and then for the next um, 45 minutes, try to get the line started. And then if you can't get it, just walk away. And then come back, you'll start it within the first five seconds. That's typically how these things go. Sometimes, but not always. That baby slid right in. Maybe. Maybe not. Make darn tootin' that you have it started straight before you stick a wrench on it. You know, wiggle it if it pops right back out. Then it ain't right, fella. I know it's very tempting to stick a wrench on it, but make darn sure. Like that one's almost all the way in by hand. So that's good. Okay. And right before we get it tight, we're going to have to hold down on that line to keep it out of the way. we got to be pretty close right now. so now we just need to snug it. You don't have to kill these fittings here they with o-ring style. I'll just kind of very gingerly snug it up. So there's that. Now it's nice and snug and the line is out of our way. And then, I guess being that we're right here, uh, let's see, we got to pop that little rubber off the return line. Oh, that just went to no man's land. Now we're going to hook up our return hose. But we're going to have to squeeze that clamp, so I'm going to get in there with a pair of pliers. On one end, my hand with the other. Give it a squeeze and a push. Push, push, push. There we go. There she is. With 
little bit of luck, you might have saw something. Uh, but if not, hopefully the play-by-play -play was good enough. At this point, you just got to fish your belt back up and around, which I already did. And then, don't be a ding dong. Hook it on your tensioner first. Get your wrench on there. Slip her up on all the way. We'll make sure that we're in all the grooves. Everything looks good. Oh, we got some stuff down here in the bottom. We got a ruler. In case you're like, hey, how long have I been here, huh? <laughs> and a zip tie. Free. What else is in there? That's it. I don't know what these were for, but we'll stick them to the side. Nothing we lost. <laughs> Not standard equipment. Then we're going to stick this on here. Got some blue tape on there for some reason. Let's see if we can't fish this baby back down. got little slots it lines up in. You kind of have to you're going to have to give it a feel. Make sure it goes in because you can easily get them on the outside of it where it will still line up on these studs but it's definitely not correct. So make darn sure that you get them in there. You know the last thing you want is maybe going through the fan. So I'm going to put them two uh, nuts back on there. We'll get her filled up and then we're pretty much done. But before we start it I got to throw an O2 sensor in. Before the next person comes in, we're going to fill her to the top. I've got the negative battery unhooked because I want the codes to clear. So hopefully we can get a drive cycle. And I didn't want to cycle the key to clear the code. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, that was super close. O2 sensor is installed. Battery is hooked up. The cap is on. I sucked a little bit of fluid out of there. We'll fire it up. It's going to be a little noisy, I imagine. Fan shroud sitting. That's interesting. fan shroud off I'd seen some marks right smack in the very bottom of the lower fan shroud where it looked like the fan was hitting but I don't ever recall hearing it. Uh, we'll have to get underneath it and see if that lower fan shroud is attached how it should be because if I tweak back on that a little bit you hear it you know, just barely touching it. Uh, I've got to let it warm up I'm still gonna uh, keep proceeding here. Uh, I've got to try to get a drive cycle out of it so hopefully we can uh, throw a sticker on it. Uh, because the oxygen sensor, you guys didn't see that, uh, but I diagnosed that. That was it. That was all wrong with it. Still waiting on a windshield uh, inspection wise and uh, just a couple other little petty things we got to take care of. So I guess we'll leave it at that, folks. Uh, kind of a silly video, uh, just some average nuts and bolts stuff. Thought you might like to see it, but if not, be sure to let me go know down there in the comment section. Whack that thumbs down while you're down there. Find us on the socials, the Insta, the Facebook. Just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.